What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. FantasyTeamAdvisors.com bringing on the bacon MLB DFS video. It is Friday, thankfully, after a really weird Thursday slate, a smaller slate. Um, we saw the Yankees give up nine runs in the first inning to the Twins. Uh, we saw uh, St. Louis lose 5 0 to the Pittsburgh Pirates. We saw uh, the Tigers beat the Blue Jays. We, <laughs> we saw a lot. Um, Again, this is why when you play DFS, you need to uh, be more vigilant. Um, you need to remember in your mind that that's it. it. It's one day. It's daily. We get on to the next day because you can't keep that on. That's what's better about DFS than like season long because it's a new day. You can play new players, and we're going to go through all of them. So if this is your first time being here, if you find this video helpful, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. All of those help. If you watch the ads, those help as well. Uh, big shout out to everybody that has sub subbed this uh, just this past week has been nuts. FTA plus uh, dominating for you guys. Uh, been awesome. Been awesome for everyone that subscribed. I think we had like 15 pe people sign up. On the website in the past week which is awesome so big shout out to you guys ever and everyone just watching um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a contest just like we do so if this video gets 50 likes and you leave a comment so 50 likes 50 comments if you're on there and you leave a comment with the like then you're gonna be put into a drawing to win a free month of DFS content brought to you by fantasy team advisors so if we do that 50 comments 50 likes good luck It'll be randomly drawn in tomorrow's video. Um, on top of that, if we get 35 likes, likes on this, again, we'll put a FanDuel and DraftKings GPP lineup in the pinned comment section down below. Also, if you just want to win a free week, all you got to do is hit the like button, subscribe here, and tell me who's going to hit a home run and what inning. If you get it correct, multiple people you only get one entry per person, but multiple people can win a day. So definitely check that out. And we're really just going to jump in. This is the first slate that I believe all year that we have this big a slate. Um, every team's playing. <clears throat> we got, you know, uh, a few games here. And then, I mean, this is technically early only at six at 540 Central. Uh, and then it jumps to the 605 start normally. So we're going to go through it all. So if you don't know what we do, we're going to go through all of the pitching options here. And then we can jump into the bats. We can, we're going to look at the BVP matchups. We're going to look at the ballpark rankings, the DFS targets, and we're going to look at the Vegas odds as well. So if you guys have any questions, just feel free down below. You can always hit us up on Twitter at advisors underscore team, or you can even email us support at fantasyteamadvisors.com. But I will tell you, Twitter will be the quickest way to hit us up. So Without further ado, let's jump right into it. We do have a uh, we do have some weather concern, and we'll look at that when we get there. So we're just going to do a breakdown of all the pitching on this slate. So as much pitching as there is, there aren't a ton of those massive stud pitchers that you like. So there's going to be a lot of variety and a lot of variance in this, uh, I believe, tonight. So this is something we're going to break down. If you find it helpful, hit that like button. If there's other things you guys would like to see in the videos, let me know down below. So the first game on the slate, the Giants at the Tigers. Shamanaya versus Joey Wentz. Shamanaya, 22 plate appearances, a 211 batting average. I don't mind him. Um, I would use him in GPP. I wouldn't use him in cash. Um, I'm not going to go with Wentz here at all. So I'm just if I'm taking one, I'm taking Manaya. Um, yeah, not not much to go off of there. Just he he's when he's on, he's one of the, he's a really good lefty. So we'll we'll look at that. It is being played at Comerica. I wish it was in San Francisco, a little bit better pitcher's park, but we still got uh, some good things going on in Detroit for the pitching. Phillies at the Reds is next. Taiwan Walker versus Connor Overton. Walker, 56 plate appearances, a 196 batting average. 21.4K percentage. I don't mind that. Um, and again, this one, though, there are thunderstorms. Um, I don't know how severe it's going to be. This is one that you might want to monitor. We are, what, 12 plus hours away from uh, lock, so we'll lessen that. But weather will change. So this is something to monitor, though. Um, I would be looking at the Phillies bats here. I would be looking at Taiwan Walker as a GPP pick. I'm not looking at Overton. Um, but again, the weather is going to be a concern here, I think. So this is something we will 
uh, monitor moving forward before we build our lineups. Diamondbacks at the Marlins, Madison Bumgarner versus Trevor Rogers, Battle of the Lefties. But um, I don't recall one start for Arizona that Bumgarner has had a good start. If you guys can, let me know down below. I, Off the top of my head, he's gotten rocked <laughs> for the last couple of years that I can recall. He's either rocked or hurt. Um, it's crazy how far he's fallen. I, he has a lot of miles on his arm. He does have championships. We know that. But uh, he seems to get hit every single start. Let me know down below if I'm wrong. Let, tell me a good start that he's had. Um, flip side of that, Trevor Rogers had a good year a couple years ago. Last year, not so much. Um, I don't mind Trevor Rogers here. I'm not going to touch Bumgarner. There's no way I'm putting him in any of my lineups. Um he just he always gets rocked it seems so I don't mind a Marlin stack here um, just the numbers yeah so the numbers don't look the best but like you've got to go recency as well Gene Segura three for twenty five with a double um, he can get on Jorge Soler against the lefty Garrett Cooper versus a lefty John Birdie even has a home run he's not even a home run hitter but if he gets on he could steal a base too so I don't mind a Marlin stack I think it'll go under owned on this slate I definitely do I'm not gonna be touching. Uh, Bumgarner at all. Guardians at the Nationals, Cal Quantrill versus Trevor Williams. Quantrill, 11 plate appearances, 100 batting average. I don't mind him, honestly. Cash or GPP, I'm okay with. Trevor Williams, the the Guardians can hit, and I just, I don't trust him. 23 plate appearances isn't enough here. Um, looking at that, you know, I'm looking at lefties here against Williams. So I'm looking at Stephen Kwan, I'm looking at Josh Naylor, I'm looking at Jose Ramirez. I'm looking at those guys. Um, look at those lefties, and then even especially the ones that can steal bases too. So that's a good thing. So I'm looking at Quantrill here. Cash or GPP, I don't really mind. And then I'm looking at uh, the bats for the Guardians. I'm not going to be touching the Nationals today. Twins at the Yankees. Louis Varlin versus Nestor Cortez. Um, I, <laughs> I don't know what to think about this one. We saw yesterday, they I mean, Johnny Brito got absolutely demolished. It's crazy. He, nine runs in the first inning. Um, I'm looking. I, I I just I still don't trust Varland here. Maybe GPP just because it's the Yankees at home and people won't think it'll happen twice. So throw him in a GPP. I don't mind. On the flip side, I do love Nestor here. 42 plate appearances. I know it says 300 batting average, but if you dig into that, it's probably a couple of batters, not overall. Um, I mean three for seven, three for. I mean Michael Taylor had two home runs yesterday. Christian Vasquez was with the Red Sox, so he's seen him. Byron Buxton, if he's playing, two for four, the home run. Um, I don't mind that. Um, I will have exposure to both of these pitchers, though. And I will have exposure to both of these lineups. So this is why I tell you, if you're playing single-entry lineups or cash lineups, avoid games like this. But if you're playing, you know, 20 lineups, 100, however many lineups you're playing, you got to get some exposure to other pitchers. I like both of these pitchers on this slate. I think Cortez obviously will be higher owned. Um, but yeah, that's definitely where I'm at on that. The Rays of the Blue Jays. I don't know if anyone's ever going to stop the Rays. I think they're going to go 162-0. and um, But uh, Drew Rasmussen versus Jose Barrios. I'm not. I mean, Barrios is, uh, I don't know what's wrong with him. He was really good for Minnesota. He got traded, then signed a... Uh, a new contract with Toronto, and I'm sure they're not happy about it. I mean, going into this right now, last year he had a 5.23 ERA. This year, 9.2 innings, 11.17 ERA. He is striking out K per nine, 11.17. So he's getting strikeouts, but he's getting absolutely lit up. And you're going up against the best team in baseball right now. I don't trust him. Rasmussen, I do like against Toronto. I know Toronto, they're at home. They're good, but 98 plate appearances, 225 batting average. I don't mind Rasmussen. I won't have 1%, half a percent of Barrios tonight. He is, if I'm building lineups, he's not even in my player pool. Angels at the Red Sox, Patrick Sandoval versus Tanner Houck. Sandoval, 28 plate appearances, 320 batting average. Houck, 17 plate appearances, 250. We know Boston has a good offense, but they have a very bad pitching, just entire pitching depth. So I would be looking at really any of the bats in this game. I don't think I'm going to touch either of these pitchers. I am looking at bats. So Otani, Trout, um, Rendon, if he's in there, 
Flip side of that, Red Sox, Justin Turner against the lefty. Uh, Devers versus Patrick Sandoval. Um, there's just a lot of options here. I'm not going to be touching these pitching options here, though. Get the Orioles at the White Sox. Tyler Wells versus Mike Clevenger. Wells has only faced 12 of the batters. .091 ERA against them. Clevenger, 38 plate appearances, 200 batting average. I'm probably not touching these two pitchers. Um, possibly GPP, maybe Tyler Wells, um, SP2 on DraftKings, but that's about it. I, I don't think I'm going to do Clev here. Next game, the Rangers at the Astros. Martin Perez versus Luis Garcia. Uh, Perez, 152 plate appearances, 314 batting average. Facing this Astros team at home, I'm not touching him. You're looking at Garcia. I like Garcia here. 46 plate appearances, 186. I don't mind him. Cash or GPP. Um, I'm looking at these bat. So we're just looking 152 plate appearances with 314 batting average. Jumping in. I mean, Bregman, 8 for 32. Love that. Maldonado, 10 for 21. Three doubles. Abreu, not the best numbers, but he still gets on base. And he's had a triple against him. Kyle Tucker. Pena, Alvarez, it's, yeah, Astros stack. Probably going to be the number one stack on the slate. Uh, for sure cash. Um, but, again, if you're playing FanDuel on a slate this size, you're looking at a stack of four. So you could be looking at a stack of four Astros. And then you want to find that second team that's you think is going to score the second most amount of points or the first, and then have three players there. On DraftKings, a little bit different. You're five and two. And I'm going to build a chart. I know I've been saying that, but I'm going to build a chart out. Um, and it'll be put on the site. So it'll be under MLB. Uh, it'll be like, I don't know, DFS stack percentages or or whatever. I don't know what I'll name it. But it'll be under the MLB tab. So definitely go to Fantasy Team Advisors uh, for all of your needs. And uh, I'll put it in videos as well. Braves at the Royals. You got Charlie Morton versus Brady Singer. Morton has... I know his numbers look good. 48 plate appearances, 116. He gets to play Kansas City, who are not good. He gets to play them in a pitcher's park. But he's been lit up this season. Um, his numbers are good so I, against them, so I don't mind a GPP. But for cash, I'm not trusting him at all. Um, Singer, on the other hand, I, he hasn't seen him much. But what he has seen, he's gotten lit up. And the Braves are really good. I'm not touching. I don't think I'll have any exposure to Singer. I will have some exposure to Morton as a GPP only option. GBP SP2 on DraftKings. Pirates at the Cardinals. Johan Oviedo versus Jake Wolf Woodford. Oviedo, uh, 44 plate appearances, 289. Um, just because of what they did yesterday, I don't mind him as a GBP option. Um, I'm not trusting him in cash, though. And then Woodford, 22 plate appearances, 190. I don't mind him either. I think both of these are good uh, GBP options. Not trusting for cash. Mets at the Athletics, <clears throat> as you can see, uh, really love Kodai Singa here. He's the pitcher, um, or he's the picture of this article and video. Uh, we also have an article down below in the description. So what we've done is all of these pitching options, all of these bats, uh, we've put about five or six of our favorite ones on pitching, and then in each position we have three that we like there. They're part of our cheat sheet, but they are in the article, which you can find in the description of this video down below. Um, Caprillion hasn't seen him much. I don't mind either of these. I think Singa is good for both cash or GPP. Uh, Caprillion, I think he could be GPP only tonight. Brewers at the Padres. You got Eric Lauer versus Michael Waka. Lauer, 57 plate appearances, a 271 batting average. Waka, 44 plate appearances, a 282. I don't mind Waka here, um, but again, after we saw a pretty good fireworks show yesterday with the amount of runs that they had. I'm looking at uh, both of these pitchers as GBP. I'm not trusting cash, but there's just other options that you could go with on this. You got the Justin Steele versus Noah Syndergaard. Cubs at the Dodgers. Uh, Steele, 18 plate appearance. I don't mind Steele. I think he'll go very under owned because it's LA. Um, GPP, I don't mind. Syndergaard, I, I just don't trust. Um, you could throw him in GPP because it is the Cubs, uh, but he's not. The study was. Um, in New York, and he got lit up his last start. Uh, yeah, I mean, 68 plate appearances, 172 is not bad. I'm not trusting either of these in cash, though. GPP, again, you can if you're making 20-plus lineups. And then the last game, the Rockies at the Mariners. Austin Gomber versus Marco Gonzalez. 
Gomber, 31 plate appearances, 129 batting average. And then you've got um, Gonzalez, 69 plate appearances, 226 batting average, striking out 16% of those batters. This is being played in Seattle, not uh, Colorado, so that's a plus. But uh, I, I probably not am touching either of these. I'm looking at the bats in this one. So I'm looking at all the righty bats in this. May even throw in Kalanick there for Seattle. you got Julio. You've got uh, Suarez. It just depends. I'm looking at more offense here than I would be looking at the pitching options in this one. And th there you go. Those are all the pitching on this slate. We're going to look at the website now. FantasyTeamAdvisors.com. You can click the article right there. But we're going to go to MLB. We're going to look at the betting odds real quick. So this is, we do sports betting as well, but this is very helpful for, um, if you want to look and see implied runs, the Phillies are implied to have the most amount of runs, but uh, there's rain in this one. And then you can see the Angels number two against Tanner Houck at Fenway, and you can go down the list there and look through. Now this helps for both sports betting, uh, prop bets, and playing DFS because you can see if you want to, you know, stack, if you want to say, if Phillies are out due to rain, then the Angels, if you want to do the four stack there. So Otani, Trout, uh, Rendon, whoever. Um, you can build your lineups that way. So there you go. Completely free. MLB. Betty nods. Ballpark rankings. Um, we do have thunderstorms if you want to see. Um, now these are as of 2023. So you can see what stadium has given up the most amount of runs run rank you can see Fenway's given up the second most amount of runs um, actually guaranteed rate park has given up the most amount of so looking at that you can kind of see uh, f if you want to build throughout there like I just said um, with Vegas with the numbers they're saying we should be looking at the angels here um, in this ballpark so that's how I'm gonna start that's how I'm gonna build around for tonight uh, stolen base targets has been huge. Um, you can see, you can go through and you can sort it however you want. John Birdie, 44 stolen bases. You can go through and see the pitcher that's given up the most amount, Syndergaard. And then you can look, do we want, you know, Nico Horner. Is he going to get a stolen base night? There's a pretty damn good chance he does. Um, so you can kind of look through the numbers and you can see that's on the website as well. And then BVP here, um, just overall, uh, Juan Soto versus Eric Lauer, 5 for 13, 3 singles, 2 home runs, batting 385. And you can go through here and look at all of them. You can break it out by position as well. So you can see not a lot of uh, things have been here. But uh, if you want to sort it by, like, plate appearances, we can do that. I mean, it just depends on how you want to sort it by. Home runs, whatever it is. You can go through and sort it there. Um, and that's really all I've got in this video. If you have any comments, questions, concerns down below, let me know. Uh, hopefully this helps someone. If it did, hit that like button. Share this video if you can. Um, all the views help, especially if you go to the website and check out the articles and check out all of our pages there. Those are all help as well. Um, and also, if you want to uh, sign up, you always can. FTA Plus is right here. You go monthly pass for $19.99. Or monthly plus DFS and sports betting is thirty nine ninety nine, um, and we've been pretty on fire with MLB lately. So, any questions? Let me know down below or hit us up on Twitter at advisors underscore team. That's what I've got. Good luck, and as always, bring home the bacon. Peace.